on Sunday. Governor Larry Hogan appeared on the program Fox News Sunday with Brett Baer. The host did not ask the governor about the health department's website being down for more than two weeks and state officials having no idea how fast the virus is spreading here. But the governor did say that regardless of what the positivity rate is and the other numbers, he says he has no plans to put the state on lockdown. WB Mayor News Aaron McPherson is live now with more on what the governor had to say in that appearance. Aaron. Good morning, Christian. Well, while the governor didn't address the website issues with the Maryland State Health Department, he did say that the hospitalizations is the main focus. He says throughout this entire pandemic, they focused on the numbers with hospitalizations and deaths. So even despite the, the, the lockdown with the website for right now with those numbers, having those numbers for the hospitalization is really what they are focusing on. And those numbers are expected just to go up. Now, Governor Larry Hogan said he expected expects that to go up within the next month. He believes we're going to have the worst surge in hospitalizations that we've seen throughout the entire pandemic within the next three to five weeks with this new variant. Now, health officials say Omicron is the most contagious one, but not as dangerous. So the governor is hoping the surge doesn't last long. As of right now, about 90% of Marylanders are vaccinated. Governor Hogan says he's working to get the last 9.2% to get the shot, but he doesn't believe a mandate is the answer. I focused on, you know, convincing people that this is a great way to keep yourself and your family and your neighbors safe, but mandates aren't working. They're sort of having the opposite effect and people are digging in their heels and saying, you can't make me do it. Uh, we'd rather encourage people to go out and get vaccinated. And it seems to be working in our state. And for those who are already vaccinated, he's hoping they'll get boosted as soon as they are eligible. So right now, everyone is just keeping an eye on that new variant. And President Joe Biden is expected to speak about Omicron tomorrow. For now, we're live here at the Inner Harbor. Aaron McPherson, WMAR 2 News.